Okay, so we're going to be looking at adding sub and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, and we're going to look at them in the word problem sense. So let's look at number three. Number three, I'm going to start out by reading the word problem. Maddie's house consists of two stories and an attic. The first floor is eight and five, six feet tall, and the second floor is eight and a half feet tall. And the entire house is 24 and one third feet tall. How tall is the attic? So anytime we solve word problems, the expectation is that students solve it using what we call cubes. The C in cube stands for circle the important numbers. The U is for underline the question. B is for box the operation word. E is for evaluate an expression. And then S is where we solve. So let's go ahead and start out with C. When I circle the number, I'm also circling what that number represents. So the first number that I see is 8 and 5, 6. And that represents the first floor. So I'm just going to circle around it. The next number I see is eight and a half. Well, if I go back and I reread, I see that that represents the second floor. And then I come to another number, which is 24 and one third feet. And I go back and it says the entire house is. Okay, so that's the entire house. Okay, so now I've circled all the numbers. Now I need to do U, underline. The question says, how tall is the attic? Now I'm going to box my operation words. So I know I have two stories and an attic, so, and I need to find out the um, entire house is 24 and one third. So I'm trying to figure out how tall the attic is. So I'm going to add those three, the first floor, second floor, and the attic to get a total of 24 and one third. So now I've kind of figured out some of my keywords to help me. I'm going to evaluate an expression. So again, the total house I know is 24 and 1 third. The first floor is 8 and 5 sixths plus 8 and 1 half plus the attic. I'm just going to put A in this place because I have no clue. And then the, again, the total is 24 and 1 third. So what we know about addition is that it has a relationship with subtraction. So I'm actually going to rewrite this with subtraction. So when I rewrite it with subtraction, I'm going to rewrite it as 24 and 1 third minus 8 and 5 sixths. Um, and you know what? I'm going to group these together because I'm going to subtract both the first floor and the second floor. So I'm going to add them together and then subtract the total from the house. So 8 and 1 half. So first I'm going to add these two. And what I notice is that I have unlike denominators once again. So I'm going to make it into like denominators. And I can do that by multiplying here by 3 to get both of them as to 6. So 8 and 1 half, if I get that common denominator, is actually going to be 3, 6. So if I join them together, I actually get 16 as my whole and 8, 6. Now what we notice is that here we have almost like an improper fraction with a mixed number where my numerator is greater than my denominator. So what I need to do is I need to regroup the extra into my whole. So I know that in terms of 6, 6, 6 is one whole. So I'm going to subtract 6 and regroup it into my whole. So now I have 17 and 2 6. So 24 and 1 third minus 17 and 2, 6. So now again, I need to have a common denominator. So they should be able to realize that 2 thirds can actually go back, 2 6 can actually go back down into 1 third, or 1 third can go up to 2 6. So 24 and 2 6 minus 17 and 2 6. Well, clearly my fraction parts are going to cancel each other out. So now I'm just subtracting 24 from 17. Now, if I can't do it this way, I can rewrite it going up and down, 24 minus 17. And I'll borrow 14 minus is seven. So my f answer for the attic is seven feet tall. Again, to just rehash what we already did, I realized that the total was 24 and one third, so I wrote it as subtraction. I did the total and I subtracted the combined total of the first floor and the second floor, found those common denominators in subtracting, and then used that difference to give me the attic.